Oh my gosh, hello. Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant who is dealing with a big ass uh, ganglion cyst that is formed on her wrist. So you'll probably be able to see the difference. So here's, here's my hand. You can see my wrist bone there. Now here's the other one. You can barely see the wrist bone. You can barely see my bones. There is a ganglion cyst that is formed on the top of my hand, uh, mostly fibromyalgia related, um, on top of an ovarian cyst and a cyst on my left knee. I'm like cyst city here, you guys, and it's extremely painful and I would really like this flare to fucking end. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to catch up on some stuff that I've missed over the last few days. So here we go. Yay. All right. So here's some of these posts. Throughout October, we are including extra accessories in each of our starter kits for free. It's not free, you guys. You have to pay for it. Here is an exclusive look at some of the pieces that are currently in our starter kits. Uh, none of that looks exciting or, or something that I want at all. But then, you know. I love the, the Kool-Aid comments, okay? So cute. I wish you had an easy rejoin for consultants who lapsed. Crystal, you lapsed for a reason, okay? Probably because uh, you weren't making money, you were in debt up to your ears, and... Mm. Oh my, those hot pink earrings, the color is beautiful. No. It's the same color as the hidden gems with Misty down below. It's not beautiful. It's ugly. I'm not a big fan of their pink, but you know, that's me. All right, sneak peek, shoot for the moon. I'm guessing that's in rose gold or gold. Oh my God, that gold tone. <laughs> Shit. And then there's nothing wrong with being a little bit extra, extra, extra. <laughs> and then, oh look, now it's in white. It was in blue, but now it's in white. Gosh, where have I been the last couple of days? Sneak peek, it's never too early to start prepping for the holidays, and we think these earrings would make the perfect gift. Well, they didn't sell so well when they were in purple. Now they're iridescent, so uh, this was a day ago. I wonder if they're still available. Oh, look, exclusive Empire Design Alert. Uh, starry skyscrapers from Heidi Bound who uh, had a Z collection necklace named after her. And um, I looked this one up before I started recording because I wanted to see if it was that Heidi. And then I scrolled down to see, and guess what? It is that Heidi. It's that Heidi Ho. And I just say Heidi Ho because, you know, it's a saying. I, I don't think she's a whore, okay? That's not what I mean, <laughs> you know. It's part of a song or something. <laughs> All right, so um, Empire Diamond Design, still available. Uh, I don't think it's gonna sell out. All right, so back to the Facebook page. <laughs> Yay, let's watch this. All right, so let me make it a full screen. Hey, paparazzi, let's see what Misty Kirby has to show us today. Good God, I wonder what she's going to show you guys today. Is it going to be so cute and so fun? I don't know, but I'm scrolling forward. We're a minute. It's time. Oh, that sweater is ugly. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing my Misty shirt because I'm in my pajamas. Hey, paparazzi, it's time for a hidden gem. So these are items that are currently available, and I love some of these amazing pieces. Let's start with this multi-stretch. So you can see that this is stone. Okay, uh, you can stack it up. It's cracked stone. It's a stretch. Hey, paparazzi. She's wearing an oversized something or other, but it's not an oversized t-shirt, but yeah. So it's, it's cracked stone and uh, let's see, it's in orange and, and sage green and turquoise and then Ugh, it's just ugly. We've got more of an apple green. A Correction. It's apple green. 
turquoise, and an orange. I love that in this palette or in this way, you can switch between seasons because it allow you to kind of pull in those dark. You can switch between seasons? So, so what seasons are we switching between here? <laughs> see the stone okay. element and then that texture then we've got just a full silver stretch and then I love the wooden element to it I love when we add stone and wood or stone and shell or any sort of natural elements to okay so that ring she's wearing do I have that one in this box I know I had that ring at one point in my paparazzi career but she's wearing She's wearing that ring that has like the scratches on it. I'm just going to get a ring on for when and if she shows a ring today. So I'm going to put on the one that's missing a rhinestone out of the side. So here we go. Together because I feel like it starts to give you visual texture. So even the size of these beads really starts to make it a cool look as you either leave the stack as it is or stack multiples together. It also would allow you to add in other pieces. So if you wanted to just in your other accessories pick up on that turquoise stone or the orange stone or the green stone, you could do that. In a Get with it, Misty. You, you've been droning on for, what, a whole minute about this stupid stack of bracelets? Um, okay, we get it. But seriously, a minute on just one bracelet? Come on, honey. Bing or a necklace or an earring. So it gives you lots of options. Obviously, when you're wearing multicolored items you're not trying to wear multicolored everywhere i mean maybe you are who's to say that's right or wrong but i really hate her often you're going to want to pick up a color out of that multi-piece and then accessorize in other areas now i love big earrings this is no secret but these babies are so lightweight and yet she is so fake right now she is so putting on a show they're so lightweight. They're so cute and they're so fun. Oh, she has a big nose at that angle. They have a big circumference, so you're going to see them actually peekaboo through your hair. If your hair's up, you've got a lot of statement coming out in this earring. And it's copper, which I think is so beautiful. You can see all of that texture on each individual bead and then the combination. It's not texture, it's just stupid, cheap, plasticky looking beads with dot motifs and line motifs. Okay, I mean that's, but she's going to drone on for probably another 30 seconds about these stupid earrings. When you get these bigger pieces on the bottom, it's really going to allow the bottom to look more weighted visually. But again, so lightweight. I wear these earrings all the time and I can hardly tell that they're in, you know, when you have to like touch your ears to make sure you've got earrings in because I mean would you you know how you have to touch your ears to make sure your earrings are in because the paparazzi earrings are so good at falling out because they don't have uh, decent earring backs and fish hooks I mean you know what I'm talking about right Misty you know right you know what I'm talking about because uh, I can't tell you how many paparazzi earrings I have lost over the years because they just bloop fall out No way. This is a darling necklace and very much that Y2K look. I even think this would be cute with what I'm wearing. So obviously, I'm wearing a green. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but bright yellow smiley faces. Uh, if that's not the Y2K trend, I'm not sure what is. Uh, nobody is sure what it is. Complimentary. Look how fun it is to just pop that purple accessory. All right. Um, she's not sure what Y2K trend is. Nobody is, Misty. Um, but you talk about it incessantly. It's so Y2K. Um, I don't recall anyone wearing this stupid purpley plasticky bead necklace Y2K. <clears throat> I mean, take a look at the pause, you guys. My pause game is still doing well. Out, right? Maybe you want to wear it. Maybe that's way too drastic for you and you want to wear it with something else. Or you want to... I wouldn't wear that purple necklace with that oversized, ugly, smiley facey sweater. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. And why are you oversizing everything? Are you pregnant and trying not to show it? I don't get it, lady. I really don't get it. And just wear a neutral and be a part of that trend. This is a really fun way. 
you can see it's all that same color of purple, but the different materials that are used, like see how, how see cool it. this is? It's a matte finish, but it's a transparent matte. And this has a little bit of almost like you've encapsulated smoke or a cloud. In it's an unbuffed bead. It's not encapsulated smoke or a cloud. It's a bead that hasn't been through the buffer to be shined up. It's basically lazy beadwork. Side a bead. You've got deface settings. You've got smooth. Look how cool this it's bead defaced. is. I feel like the combinations of beads kind of give you a little bit of a light. All right. I am cooking and I need to go and stir for a second. So I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. It takes me a little bit longer to do stuff because I, I can only do stuff with my left hand because my right hand, I can barely bend my fingers right now and the nerve pain is off the charts. So back to this crazy lady. Lighter and brighter tone in some concepts or in some applications, but the color is actually all the same, which is really cool. <clears throat> this <coughs> is one of my favorite rings. I love statement rings and I love when they are high, like they go almost to your knuckle or just above your knuckle, but look at that white. That ring is just too damn big. It looks like, like a stone. The brown veining in there. That looks like something you would carry around in a cafeteria at school. It looks like a tray with mashed potatoes on it with butter veining through them. I mean, you can tell I'm hungry. Um, that's what happens when you lose your appetite for a few days, but that looks like a tray of mashed potatoes and butter and then the detail around the outside and i even think you could wear it either way right it kind of has a different look depending on how you flip it but i there's so many silver accessories with that silver antiquing right here on the sides that you could pair it with like dime a dozen so many now this is actually <laughs> and she just said dime a dozen and yeah those rings are a dime a dozen I'm just going to pull something up. Let me see if I can type eBay paparazzi ring lot. Uh, see, I can't even type. So you go to eBay. We looked everywhere. So let's type in paparazzi rings lot. And here is a lot of rings. Look at all these gorgeous, yeah, I don't care. Look at all these gorgeous, yet I had the one, okay, the first three on the top row, I had in my store. And you just keep going down. Look at those statement rings. Look at all these rings that are in the paparazzi lot. They're a dime a dozen, you guys. So buy 25, buy one at $25 each, buy two at $22.50 each, buy three at $21.25 each. So how many are in each? Uh, a lot of 10 new assorted rings. And I'm guaranteeing you they're probably not selling. 26 different paparazzi rings. Here's another one. Dime a dozen. Look at the beautiful butterfly. I mean, this, this is depressing you guys because a lot of these I had in my store and they've probably changed hands from one consultant to another oh look a fashion fix ring crack stone yellowstone ugly 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 but yeah this is this is this is depressing and look at the look at the silicone ties in these rings they're even turning yellow Another thing that paparazzi doesn't tell you about the quality of their shit jewelry. Uh, over time, it eventually deteriorates. But, you know, she's not going to admit that. It'll turn as yellow as that ugly smiley face on her sweater. Men's. So, men of paparazzi, shout out to you. I love your guts. But I What? Men of paparazzi, I just love your guts. What a valley girl thing to say. I feel like this could be layered in so many ways. And you could also, obviously, you can, anybody can wear this, right? But you'll see it in the men's section. But this is... Why would they want to? Why would any anybody want to wear that? Do you want to buy some jewelry? No one wants to wear that, Misty. 
is lapis stones. No, it's a piece of plastic. This is lapis stone. All right. So a natural stone, but look at the detail coming around that setting. I love this oversized ring that it's attached to, and it's actually all one piece, which means it will slide so easily because this ring is over-exaggerated no. along that chain, and that chain is thick and amazing. So that chain is thick and gaudy, just like most of the paparazzi jewelry. It's big, thick, gaudy pieces of shit. And I'm pretty sure that chain will turn into uh, defaced or decolored or turn like... Like the chrome total eclipse of the heart that David said he would be afraid to touch it because the chrome paint would fall off. This is a cool, cool piece to wear. Obviously, that blue allows you to pop the color out from pop. either a shirt or, you know, if you wanted to accent the pants or an oversized jacket in some way. Whatever you want to do to be super cool and a paparazzi show out. What the fuck did you just say? Are you trying to act like you're younger than you are? Men of paparazzi show out. What the? What? Just. What, ugh, what did you just say? Are you trying to be cool? Because you sound like a crazy mom trying to appeal to her kids. I'm sorry, but. Act your age, Misty Kirby, and you're older than me. I love these post earrings. So you're actually going to see, if I turn it from the side, can you see how that actually rises, right? It's the center is going to come to just a subtle peak. And at that peak, you're going to have the collision of color between the gray. Look at the pyramid on these earrings right here. It's a subtle peak, just like everything in paparazzi is so subtle. But look at these pyramid -y pieces. No, they look like um, an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I'm just sorry, but they do gray and black and then silver back meaning the frame work is in silver and no. I love this space you see how the gray and black come together but they touch at the bottom but not at the top that space in between I think really exaggerates that peak and these are so flipping cool in I love them they can be paired with so many accessories really and last but not least I love this necklace. It has a matching bracelet. So I It's been in the back office for like a week or two now. So she really loves it so much. She's trying to get you guys to buy this, what, navy blue and silver tinfoil monstrosity that's so poorly put together. And I'm guessing the bracelet is exact replica of the what's going around your neck, except it has a different closure. I can show you the detail of that. It's basically the same pieces placed in a class. I'm going to show you the detail on the necklace, though. So you've got that navy back, right? And then look at that silk. You mean it's not lapis? It's not lapis? Because every time we see blue in that color, you say it's lapis stone. But what it is is a, a blue back with silver flecky foil with a clear acrylic topper. But it's not lapis over foil it is so cool inside there and each individual piece so each fleck of the silver foil is going to be a different shape it's going to be a different size obviously the color is the same but even you get little tiny scatters of them almost like you had the bead you subtly dusted it with the silver foil and as it like landed through the air right and dropped on the bead we encapsulate she's basically saying we put glitter on top of this encapsulated it in some acrylic uv finished it but basically it's the silver foil dandruff necklace mm -hmm. and she's she's describing it look it, it silver foil fleckied down and it's so cute and it's so fun and look how i'm describing this jewelry <clears throat> so you guys will go in your back office and buy it encapsulated it I feel like that delicate sprinkle you can almost see in the pattern of the foil in each individual bead. And it's fun. You see how the dot motif is on the outside of this shape and you see the scattered shapes together. Yeah, it's so Again, fun. I'll show you this bracelet because it matches it directly. But <clears throat> And she can't even get it to twist around, right? Same detail. Isn't Look, cool? it's the same thing. Let's see it if I hold it up. So, so cool. So again, 
A direct matching set is really, really fun, or if you want to have something like a multi and create your own set, that's great too. Last but not least, I mean, this choker obviously is so... I just want to end this by saying, you don't look cute in that choker. You're trying too fucking hard, and fuck you, Misty Kirby. That's all I have to say. So, um, oh, she drives me nuts. She absolutely drives me nuts. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Um, somebody who takes advantage of people on a daily basis. Look at this choker. Isn't this so cute? So cute. Look at my choker. And look at this ring that I'm showing you. And sorry, um, you guys can see the puff on my hand right there. But yeah, I took my brace off because, <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm having a day. So what has been dropping this week that I have not seen a lot of? So Artists in Adobe is available in brass. Reeling Relics is now in silver. Uh, Rebel Grit. I'm guessing it's a gunmetal choker. Oh, look, the choker Misty's wearing. Guess you guys didn't take the bait on Tuesday. Or was that Wednesday? I don't know. I don't care. Do what you love in pink. The Knee House Special is available in pink. Um, Misty wore that last week. Top of the food chain. It's a Reject Z collection piece. And Dynamite Dynamo in silver. What's with the multiple chain pieces lately, paparazzi? Oh my god, what the hell? Yacht Catch in black. Okay, let's see. Um, is this the Reject Macrame cording pieces from a couple years ago that never sold? Oh look, but they come with cute little black earrings with little flowers on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's ugly. Uh, the Fashion Fix piece is now available in gunmetal. Brown pearls that say, sail away with me. Uh, don't. Stay put. Stay on dry land. Don't join paparazzi. Uh, let's see. Token of my gratitude. Uh, let's see. Classical culture. It's a culture of pearls. Ooh, uh, party crasher in green because the holidays are coming up toga party in green another stupid pearl piece what's with all the pearls lately too have you guys noticed that pearls are like on every other piece like here's another one modern day demure in white it's the baby binky in white and then crack stone and i mean the outfit the model's wearing uh, no. And then we've got Mojave Moon in blue. And then Whimsically Whipped. It's a corded piece in brown and in brown. And then Badlands Basin. Wasn't that in silver and pink a while back? Now it's in blue and brass. Ooh, ah. Uh. And then Empress Impressive uh, res Resume. <laughs> Keep paparazzi and the fact that you were selling this stuff off your resume uh desert journey in multi it goes with the stack she was showing that's just awful shimmering sea floors so now we're taking uh purple acrylic paint and adding flecks of shell into it they must have gotten a good deal on shell flex uh because they are really throwing those shelf fleck -like pieces at you. Ab abundantly Aztec and silver. No. The guy piece still hasn't sold out. The Werther's original and the overcooked pea necklace is still available. The orbs are still available. Um, that isn't even hanging right. And there was one I remember seeing a while back. Um, I'm not going to say when I saw it, but it wasn't even hanging right. It was like hanging all wrong. And maybe it's sold out. Who knows? But it was awful. Southern Stroll in blue. Okay. And then we've got that awful blue piece. Tai Chi Tassels now in gold. Again, a, a poorly named piece. Craveable Color there's no color it's white and then urban labyrinth okay 
rose gold, purple, purple, black. Oh, yeah. Uh, stupid elongating ring, more shells. Uh, is that supposed to be rose quartz? I don't know. True to you, in brass and in copper, the decoder ring. Okay, I saw those a couple days ago, and I thought they would have sold out by now. I'm shocked that they're not sold out, and those are still ridiculous and stupid. Uh, the makeup palettes are still... Nope, they didn't sell out. They were not popular in purple. They're not popular in iridescent. And uh, let's see, that set is still available. That is not a new piece. I showed those during my live with you guys. What? Let's get some copper purses and hang them from fish hooks. That's what I think of when I see Rio Rancho Relic. They look like stupid li little leather handbag purses that like saddle bags that you would put on the side of a horse. But okay, let's get some saddle bags and put them on our ears. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> And then the Bretts that are still available, uh, the Cruise Control in red, or is that orange? Nope, it's red. And then that's not new, but it's a stretch. And then a Thick Chain, which is unisex, but it's mostly for guys. And then, oh, this is the, the bracelet I was telling you guys about. When I was a consultant, they had these bracelets with oil slick and silver, and the chain on those bracelets would get so wonkified if you put them on or stretched them out a little bit too far. They didn't look good after one wearing. They didn't look good after you put them on. So there's that. And then we've got Canyon Crusher in blue, Canyon Crusher in black. It's a stretch in white. The stupid blue coil from a couple hidden gems or sneak peeks ago still available. Um, I'm looking at this stuff and I'm not impressed. Oh look, it's another multi-piece in cute little pastel-y colors. Uh -uh. The stupid charm bracelet's still available. An olive stack. Ooh. Ah. So gorgeous. So cute. So fun. So now I gotta wonder. Uh, November fashion fix. Here we go available in 15 days. Oh, so they have something called Troublemaker. It's basically the same thing they had a few years ago, but now it's got white and black rhinestone chains along with silver chains. It's not a new set. And then, ooh, look at the bracelet. And then here's the earrings. And here's the big ass ring because that's a complete look that I want to get my hands on. Now let's go to Sheen Season. It's champagne and brass. And then we've got the, the piece that everyone's like, we can't see it. Or is that the Fiercely Fifth Avenue? And then we've got a flower bohemian blossom. I'm guessing that says simply Santa Fe. And collector's craftsmanship in oil slick. Ooh. And I'm just not blown away by any of these, are you? Because if you are, I'm, I mean, here, we know it's not pearls now, you guys. It's rhinestones. That uh, one that they had a couple you know, a couple days ago where people are like, we can't even see it. Well, now you can see it and it's rhinestones. And then bloom your every what? What does it say? It says bloom your own way. Now we're getting cracked stone in a seafoam green. And is that is that supposed to be the... It is a Simply Santa Fe trend blend, but we have it in, we have a inspirational piece and then a stack. And then we've got the pull close bracelet and then an oil slick. And this is what you guys were supposed to get so excited about to join Fashion Fix for. I don't know about you, but if I was in paparazzi, I'd be skipping this month. 
I'd probably be canceling the whole damn thing, to be honest with you. All right, so let's keep looking at these earrings and see if there's anything exciting that's still sitting here that I made fun of. But look, you guys, nothing is selling. It's all still sitting in your back office with the stupid saddlebags and the stupid suns and the stupid olive green and the intentional back and forth what naughties and everything Misty wore and her sneak peeks and hidden gems and everything else with Misty. Oh, and that's something else. Um, I made a, I made a, a City of Heroes character called Dark Misty. And she looks like Misty in an oversized shirt with a stupid cheesy fake grin and the hairstyle. And then she's wearing denim jeans with little stars on them. Because <laughs> I was bored. Alright, so... Yeah. I'm just blown away by the stupidity that is this company. So, let's go back and... Since we did the hidden gems, what else are we missing? Besides the Kool-Aid comments. Tons of Kool-Aid comments. Okay, so what'd they say about this? Excuse us, but do you have a fire extinguisher nearby? Because this bracelet is fire! No, it's not. It's fugly. And then that was what was so funny. And then, yeah. They've been doing a lot of funny posts lately. Look at all the great stuff that's in our starter kits. Oh, let's read some Kool-Aid comments from Chani's post. This is from yesterday. Tell me about a time you received an act of kindness. All right. Um, I don't want to read these because it leads to toxic positivity. All right. Let's see if I'm still able to access the winner's circle and we'll end this video with that. Because I know they had a, a weekly challenge this week. Oh, it's six minutes. Maybe I'll record another one later. But yeah, here's the winner's circle. Ugh, so gross. So if you guys uh, haven't been watching um, Savannah Marie's channel, she goes live and makes fun of Iris Girls, the, the really bad reality TV show that she's been producing. And here's the thing, you guys. Um, if you're watching Era's Girls and you're part of Erica's downline, it's just another income stream for her because she has over a thousand subscribers. And, you know, it's just another way for her to make money off of YouTube. So she's branding herself and she's making more money off of her downline and all of her cult like followers. So it's kind of sick and wrong, but that's just me. All right, I'm gonna go ice my hand again, take some more pain medication, some more anti-inflammatories, and pray that this stuff goes away. But it's highly unlikely that it will, because uh, it hurts to just do anything. So, okay, I'll watch this another day. Thanks, you guys, bye.